Located in the upper wings of the landmark Denver train station, the Crawford Hotel at Denver Union Station has all the things. If you've never wanted to leave the comforts of a hotel, you've come to the right place. The Crawford is housed in the Denver Union Station's Great Hall, coined Denver's Living Room, which is an enclosed eclectic living space that has everything you'd ever need. The Crawford features 112 rooms, as well as being dog friendly, a big plus for our furry travelers. Hey Ed, how are you? Good to see you again, Jenny. Okay, what can you tell me about this great hotel? Beautiful space, space, isn't it? I know, it's breathtaking. Yeah, it's really neat. It's a it's actually a historic train station, it opened up in 1881. Now the portion that you and I are sitting in right now actually burned in 1912 and was reopened in 1914. But the wings of the building um, where the Crawford Hotel is located, that's been here since 1881. But different than the, Cro the Oxford, the Oxford has been a hotel since 1891. The Crawford opened as a hotel in 2014, went through a massive 50, $54 million renovation to turn it into the Crawford Hotel and this beautiful uh, great hall that you see behind us. So what can you tell me yeah. about some of the architecture? Yeah, it's in, in a historic project like this, you always want to pay mind to the history of the building and the space and the architecture. So the large chandeliers behind us are replicas from photographs, but the sconce lights on the walls and all the scroll work around them are original to the reopening of the station in 1912. And then tell me about this whole space because the Crawford is here, but there's just so much yeah. life. What's going on yeah, in Union Station? It's a here? great project, or a great vision was put together. So the Crawford takes up the, the north and south wings, 112 guest rooms, luxury. It does pay mind to history, but it's a modern luxury hotel. Um, and then inside the Great Hall, we've got many great food and beverage outlets as part of the experience. Um, we have the terminal bar downstairs, which is where train tickets were actually sold um, out of that. We have people working here in Amtrak who actually used to sell train tickets. And then really? it became turned into the terminal bar. Um, we've got some great retail. And then on the wings of the building, there's all locally owned restaurants. We've got two James Beard award-winning chefs, wow. uh, mercantile dining, um, and then Stoic and Genuine in Altrea. There's quite a few other restaurants and, and it's an entire experience. It's not just one outlet. Um, and guests who stay in the hotel get to experience all that food and beverage and can have anything delivered to their room. And the train still runs through here, Yep, there's correct? two trains. It's still an official Amtrak train station. There's two trains a day that run out of it. In the wintertime, what's really cool is the, uh, the, ski, the ski train that goes up to Winter Park oh, runs. Yeah. So you can come stay at the hotel for a night and then just walk out the back door, get on a train and head to the mountains. And then where are we sitting now? Because this is, this is really cool. It's fantastic. It's, it uh, it's the Cooper Lounge. Um, it is open to the public, but it's kind of has this speakeasy style. We don't do a lot of promoting and marketing. We don't really have to. It's designed in this 1930s Hollywood glamour. Um, real, real great specialty cocktails and plenty of food up here. But you don't have to be uh, staying at the Crawford That is correct. Experience. Yep. Is that right? That is absolutely okay. correct. You can. You can stay, be a guest and walk out of your room. Come down to the third floor here in the Cooper Lounge. You can sign your uh, sign your check straight to your room, or you can just walk off the street or meet people here. All right, so we're in Union Station. Brandon, <laughs> what is it that you do here? Uh, so I'm the food and beverage director uh, for our what we call our captive food and beverage here. So that is Terminal Bar, Cooper Lounge. We have Acme Delicatessen. Pig train coffee and then also milk box ice creamery, which we're in right now. Nice. I mean, this is a fun space. You just come in, you're happy. Oh, it's fantastic. And it's it, the most historic space that we have here. Original Mirrors. It was a barber shop originally. And oh, so, I love that. yeah, we turned it into an ice cream shop. And, and like you said, it's, it's bright and it feels good when you come in here. It's fantastic. So, I've heard a lot about uh, milk box. Mm -hmm. What's one favorite um, treat here? Uh, well, I love the fact, and one of the things that makes Milk Box special is that we're able to do boozy shakes. So we have we have a liquor license that extends throughout the whole entirety of Union Station. So okay. if you're in our great hall and you're sitting out there, you could have a beer. If you come into Pig Train, you could you know do a little cocktail in there if you wanted to. And so we have the ability here to be able to add a little something extra to your shake if you wanted to. So I think of it as not necessarily that's what you come here for, but if you're a parent and you bring your kids, they get a shake, you can get something for yourself. That's good as well. I love oh. it, the boozy shake. Mm -hmm. oh, this is a fantastic place. <laughs> yes. Hard to complain about that, isn't it? <laughs> Even with all the fun things to do in the Great Hall, I slept like a baby. Truly, the Crawford is a must stay. Sweet dreams 
and see you next time.